And this is a reply to Newsy's latest attack on Ke um, on Morrison, <laughs> the Shadow Minister for Immigration. And um, he says, oh, Morrison's at it again. He's lying. How is he lying, Newsy? How is he lying? You produced on your video... A statement signed by Papua New Guinea, Peter O'Neill, the Prime Minister of Papua New Guinea, and Kevin Rudd. Two pages. And the majority of which on that two pages is nothing but, how would you say, diplomatic waffle? Now, let's talk reality. Manus Island is about four or five kilometres, nautical kilometres, off the Australian ma mainland in Torres Strait, Papua New Guinea. <coughs> Which means you put those people on this island, 8,000 8, odd, on this island, in a space that's... Oh, God, strike me rum. According to Michael Samari, the former Prime Minister of uh, Papua New Guinea... There's only 3% of the land mass on Manus Island, whereas uh, the rest of the, the, the island is controlled by tribal interest of up to 97%. And you're going to slot 8,000 people in this tiny corner of Manus Island. And you don't think they're going to get into a rowboat or even a speedboat or a fishing boat and end up in Cape York Peninsula. You don't think that they aren't going to do that. Never does Kevin Rudd. And they're wandering down there going, Hello, I'm here. Oh, God and Bennett. No one, you live in a southern state, don't you? You don't live in Queensland. Guess where they're going to end up going to? They're going to end up in Queensland, whether you like it or not, or agree to it or not, Newsy. Even Campbell Newman knows this. Anyone with a common bit of brains between their ears knows this. Do you think they've come from Sri Lanka into Indonesia and come across the Arafura Sea that four kilometres of uh, sea in the Torres Strait is going to stop them? No. And none of this has been addressed in that so-called solution you had on your video or on that uh, piece of paper that the government signed with um, Papua New Guinea between Peter O'Neill and Kevin Rudd. There's 8,000 Melanesians, refugees, currently in Papua New Guinea. What are we doing for them? Nothing. So we're going to put 8,000 more refugees from Iran and Sri Lanka and other places around the Middle East and so forth, plonk them in Papua New Guinea, and then for, therefore we're going to start building hospitals and so forth in Lai, and roads and infrastructure for the Papua New Guinea government. And we're supposed to do all this and put schools in and education and all, and police as well. And we're supposed to, um, how would you say, buy off the Papua New Guinea government? <laughs> and getting back to the other point, the other point using... What's going to stop them from getting in a boat in Manus Island and straight into Townsville or Cairns or into Weeper or in the Gulf of Carpentaria or in that matter of fact in the Darwin itself? What's going to stop them? Nothing. <laughs> Not a thing. Because they've already crossed the Arif you would see you, Burke, and ended up in Christmas Island. Now we'll get back to the other point. You claim that Tony Abbott is dithering about the introduction of a higher area of the GST. He claimed in that interview that you so violently put on your video, no, we have no intention of increasing the GST at this election. He's already claimed it. He shut that reporter down. He just said, look... We're only getting into 2013. We're not even considering 2016 yet. 
and when he made that statement in South Australia. So you're assuming that that's exactly what would happen. The policy is, no, we're not increasing the GST. You're assuming this. You're assuming that he's dithering around. He just made it plain and simple. No, we are not increasing the level of the GST. What? Don't you understand plain English? Have you a problem with it? And now you're assuming that, uh, or preempting that he's going to raise it in the election of 2016? <laughs> Hell, every premier in, in the southern states has been trumping in that. But Tony Habit hasn't. Ah, oh, God, Bennett. Even Labor premiers have been trumping in that. And Tony Abbott has not. Premiers, not Prime Ministers or Opposition Leaders. Premiers. Oh, Ben. Now I'll get back to that area of the uh, Kevin Rudd's Manus Island. So how many women are going to go to this island? How many children, unaccompanied children, are going to go to this island, you see? Did it say that in that statement? Nope. Has it effectively stopped the boats since the announcement of that, that statement and that policy by Kevin Rudd? No, it has not. And we've had how many boats since the last four weeks have arrived in Christmas Island? How many? And we've had a what? Around about 3,000 turn up so far at Christmas Island since the announcement by Kevin Rudd and Peter O'Neill. 3,000? We had a baby die a couple of weeks ago. It's one of those lot that turned up. Ground at sea. And since 2008... You should have watched the Bolt Report on the 25th of July where your glorious leader, Kevin Rudd, was being interviewed by Andrew Bolt. Andrew Bolt asked him questions about did he or did he not receive reports from the Australian Federal Police and ASIO about illegal immigration and people smuggling. And if removing the, the Pacific Island solution, the uh, withdrawing of uh, temporary protection visas and border security, and lessening of such, how would that affect? Kevin Rudd said, I didn't receive those reports. They went to the Prime Minister's office. He said, well, I didn't see them. Are you kidding me? Serious reports like that from the Australian Federal Police and ASIO were ignored by Kevin Rudd? Are you kidding me? He ignored them because they didn't fit in with his political agenda? Ah, I see. So 1,000 people have died, approximately. And we've had 48,000 illegal immigrants turn up at Christmas Island and other places in Australia. <laughs> and who's at fault? Because Kevin Rudd ignored the advice he got from the Australian Federal Police and also from ASIO. What do you got to say about that, Newsy? Because inquiring minds would love to know. I bet you won't reply unless you come up with your same left wing I love Rad rhetoric. Bye.